Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on Web Technologies Lab. So in this video, we are going to look at program one. So before uh, talking about the program, uh, like and share the video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for notifications on latest videos. So the program one is about creating static web pages. So we are going to create four pages. One is home page. Second one is login page. Third one is catalog page and fourth one is registration page. Okay. So these four pages belong to an application called online bookstore. So where you can see different books and the details and if you want, you can purchase them. Okay. So in this uh, program, we are not going to implement the purchasing functionality. We are just going to create static pages which display some information. Okay. So let me show you the output first and then I will explain the process of creating the pages. So yes, uh, this is the output. So this is home page, okay, which is showing the title online bookstore and it is displaying some image of books and a mouse. And below that, there are three links. These three are links, hyperlinks, login link, registration link and books catalog. Link. So why I'm saying these are hyperlinks means so when you click on this login, it will take you to another page called login page. Okay. So here you can give some username, some password and you click login. Of course, when you click login, nothing happens. We didn't write any code. Okay. So if you go back and click on registration, you will see registration page. So this is for user registration. Okay. So this thing you are seeing here, this is called a form. So a HTML form contains uh, different controls like here this is text field or you can say text box and this is a label first name and another label it is displaying last name and this is another text field so what is the use of forms is you can enter some data and you can submit okay right and the last page is catalog page books catalog where the page displays information about books and also you can see the price for each book. So there is title of the book, there is cover page, image, others and price. Okay, so it is displaying uh, information of about three books. Okay. So now let's see how to create this thing. Okay. So First, I want to tell you is I am going to save all the files in the D, D drive, okay, in the folder program one. So, if I open this folder, you will see another folder called resources, okay. If I open resources folder, you are going to see four images. So, you can download all these images from Google Drive. So, the drive link is available in the YouTube description. So in the YouTube uh, description that is below the video, you can see get the link for downloading these files. Okay. So just place them in the resources folder and follow the process that I am going to tell you now. Okay. So notepad plus plus. So first I am going to create the home page using HTML. So in this program, the only technology we are going to use is HTML. Okay. So let me tell you something about HTML. So HTML abbreviation is hypertext markup language. Okay. And what is the use of HTML is HTML is used to describe a web page. I am repeating again. HTML is used to describe the content in a web page. Okay. 
So for example, um, let me show you. So you are seeing this form page, right? So if you see this page, you can say that this is some kind of heading, right? And this is kind of, this is some kind of image. Okay. And these things are hyperlinks, hyperlink one, hyperlink two and hyperlink three. Okay. So HTML is used to describe the contents in a web page. So this is, it will tell, this is a heading, this is a image, this is a paragraph like that. So how does it do is, so if you highlight this heading like this and you right click and you click inspect here, okay, you will get this uh, display here. If you zoom in, okay, you can see this online bookstore, right? You can see that it is highlighted and below online book, uh, before online bookstore, you can see there is a thing called H1 and after online bookstore also there is another H1, but it is uh, beginning with slash. So these things are called as tags, also called as markup. So HTML abbreviation is hypertext markup language, right? So these tags are called as markup. So using these tags, HTML is going to tell the browser uh, what is what, okay? What is a heading? What is an image? Which one is a paragraph like that? So that is the thing. So I think you understood what is HTML and what is its purpose, right? Now, how to start creating a web page using HTML? So the first tag you are going to write is doc type tag okay so this is called a doc type tag also called as document type tag so it will tell the type of document so here we are telling that it is an html document so whatever we are going to write below it is all html code so whom it is telling is it is telling the browser that this code belongs to html okay and this is an exclamation mark right fine now the root tag for all html tags is html so for every open tag there is closing tag right so what i want to tell you is almost all the tags in html has uh, closing tags so there is a opening tag and there is closing tag only very few tags doesn't have closing tags okay we will see some of them uh, in a few minutes right now let's save the file so i told you where i am going to save i am going to save in the, the folder program one in d drive okay in d drive program one i am going to save here so I am going to give the name as form and type of the file is HTML. Okay, this is the one hypertext markup language file. Save. So you can see here the file is saved as form.html. For HTML, the file extension is .html. Okay, now inside the root tag that is HTML is a root tag or parent tag, uh, inside that one of the child tags you can write is head, okay, head tag. So in the head tag, the tag we write generally is the title, title of the web page, okay. Now here I am going to write the title of the web page which is online bookstore. Okay, now after the head tag, I am going to write body, body tag, right? Okay, now whatever 
content is going to be displayed in the web page that is written in between body tags okay whatever content you want to display in the web page that content is written in between body tags right and in the head tags generally the the content we write is metadata okay the content we generally write in the head tags is metadata like uh, who created the web page what is the description of the web page and all these things what are the keywords okay and of course we are uh, we will also write title right okay now so first as i have shown you the output the first thing that is going to be displayed is heading so you can see here there are six levels of heading headings okay so first level second third fourth fifth and sixth so level one that is h1 is the um, heading which displays text very largely so it is generally used for main title of the web page right so i am going to write online bookstore and close the heading tag okay i think by now you already know this is called a opening tag and this is called a closing tag so how do you recognize a closing tag so closing tag always begins with slash okay now after writing the title i, I am going to display an image how to display an image in html is we use the tag called img after writing img we will write an attribute called src src means source where, where the image is located okay so i have shown you so let me show you again the images are available in the folder resources right and here is the home.html and images are in resources folder so i want to display this image books okay so what i should write is the folder name which is resources slash and you can see the file name is books right if you want to see the extension so go to view details so you can see the type of the file is png okay so books dot png right and slash and right angular bracket so if you see here i didn't write this yes so img tag does not have any closing tag we just simply close it like this within the opening tag only we will end it with slash right angular bracket okay now let's create a paragraph and in between the paragraph tags i want to create hyperlinks so how do you create hyperlink is the tag which is used for creating hyperlinks is anchor tag a okay it is called anchor anchor tag and here you have to use an attribute called href which is going to give uh, the target of the link that means when you click the link which page should open so i want to open login dot html and the text i want to display is login okay after that you close the anchor tag a right okay now similarly you can create two more links so second link is register and here i will write uh, registration and third one is catalog that is books catalog catalog.html and here i will write books catalog okay now let's save this and see the output of the page so go to the folder just double click this web page now you can see 
it is displaying this title online bookstore and below that you are seeing the image that is this and below the image you are seeing three links which is first one is login second one is registration and third one is books catalog okay but the thing is i don't want these links to be side by side i want uh, them to be one after another okay that means after login i want registration to come below so what you can do is after the anchor tag closing anchor tag you can use break line okay so this is break line similarly you can paste it here also now you go to the web page and refresh by clicking this now you can see the links are one below the other right so this is our home page okay so i am going to stop here and continue the rest of the thing in the next video thank you